So I just wanted to say thanks so much, Tamara, for joining me today. And uh, we really appreciate you coming on to talk about this. No problem. So obviously right now we're kind of in a little bit of a heat spell. What are the main dangers when it comes to pets out in the heat? Yeah, so definitely a few dangers. Um, in our small animals, biggest thing we worry about are things like heat stroke. Um, a lot of people are getting out and about, going camping this time of year, trying to enjoy the heat, and they're most commonly bringing their pets with them at this time of year as well, so they can get out and enjoy it too. And so a few things that we do have to be pretty wor worried about in these guys, especially dogs and cats that are you know potentially predisposed to not managing this heat very well. We always worry about them getting heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Just like humans, they can definitely get overheated and uh, you know um, dehydrated potentially from spending too much time out there. And so that's something we gotta watch pretty closely. Uh, a couple other things that we gotta watch for as well. And funny enough, when you guys contacted us, we are just actually putting some news out there ourselves on our Facebook page about uh, blue green algae. There's some blooms going on right now. And uh, we actually had our first couple cases of blue green affecting cattle as well as some small animals too. So that's another thing that we're having to watch pretty closely with this heat causing those blooms. So what are some of the symptoms of like overheating? Mostly, um, most dogs are going to show you that they're, they're exhausted or uh, showing signs of heat exhaustion by having panting, increased respiratory rate. A lot of dogs will salivate excessively as well. Um, some dogs actually show it with GI upset, so extreme vomiting, extreme diarrhea. Of course, we get to some cases where it's a little bit more severe. They're disorientated, they're collapsing, and their seizures can all happen from heat stroke. And of course, if they see anything like this, please, please contact the vet immediately. I know ourselves and, and Vera's vet clinic also um, has emergency lines. So definitely contacting a clinic is crucial. Um, but the biggest thing is cooling them, right? And so if you're worried about heat stroke, cooling your dog down, get them out of the sunlight. If they're conscious and doing okay, get them some water, let them drink a few things. Um, they say that the most important way of cooling a dog is, is evaporative cooling so misting them with water and then letting a fan go on them a lot of people want to put like wet towels or wet shirts on them don't do that that actually contains the heat and so you want to wet them you don't want to hold the heat in and then of course making your way to the clinic as soon as possible is probably the most important part thanks so much for coming on here and joining me to talk about this i really appreciate it and have a wonderful rest of your day yeah, absolutely. It's no problem at all. Um, I'm glad we were able to have a quick meeting here. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helps a few people out.